In this video, I'll show you how to quickly deploy your first free cluster on MongoDB Atlas, including how to set up user access, IP whitelisting, loading sample data, finding and using your connection string, and making your first query using the MongoDB query language. To get started, use the link in the description to log in and create your free account. Once you've logged in, you should see this. So let's create a database. We have three options for creating your database. We have dedicated, which is for production applications. And then we have serverless, which is a pay as you go plan. You pay for only the operations that you run. And then we also have the shared tier, which is free forever, no credit card required. This tier includes basic configuration options and is great for hobby and starter projects. So let's create our free cluster. Next, we can choose our cloud provider and region. We can choose between AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure. And we can choose which region. There are many included in the free plan. It's best to choose a region that's closest to you for better performance. If you want to see additional options, we can check out the cluster tier. So the free tier uses the M0 sandbox. And you can see some of the other options available. Under additional settings, you'll see that we can turn backups on, but that does require an M2 or above. And then under cluster name, we can change our cluster name if we want. I'll just leave it at cluster zero and create cluster. Now we can see our M0 cluster is provisioning. Let's go ahead and go through our security setup. Now by default, MongoDB is completely locked down. Even I can't access it at this point. I need to add user authentication and network authentication. So let's go ahead and set up our user. You can name your user anything you want. I'll name mine Mongo. And for the password, I suggest that you auto generate a secure password. I'm going to put in a very basic one just so I can remember of Mongo. And don't worry, I'll delete this cluster after I'm done recording. So we're going to create this user. And then let's go down. And next we'll configure our IP whitelisting. This will allow us to add an IP address or a range of IP addresses that will be allowed to connect to our cluster. Right now, even though I have a username and password, I still can't connect because the network is completely locked down. So we have a couple of options here. You can enter one manually, or you can add your current IP address. So that's what I'm gonna do. Next, we'll finish and close. All right, so our cluster is up and running now. We can see what version it's running. We can see the region the cluster tier, and this cluster includes a free three node replica set. The great thing about hosting your database on MongoDB Atlas in the cloud is that you don't have to worry about any of the server setup or configuration. So next let's load some sample data. So on our cluster, we'll click the ellipses and then load a sample data set. And then we'll click load sample data. While that's loading, let's find our connection string. So here on our cluster, we'll click connect. And we can see that there are several different ways of connecting to MongoDB Atlas. We can connect using the MongoDB shell, connect in your application, using MongoDB Compass, and using VS Code. For our first connection, let's use Compass. If you don't have Compass, you can download it here. It's completely free and works on Mac, Linux, and Windows. And this is our connection string. So let's copy this. Next, we'll use Compass to connect to our database. What is Compass? Well, Compass is the GUI for MongoDB. And this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and paste in the connection string that we just copied. And you can see here that it has entered my username, but it hasn't entered my password. So let me go ahead and enter that. And then let's connect. It will just take a second to connect. So here within Compass, again, we can see our three node replica set, and we can see all of our databases. Some of the sample data has already begun to load. Let's take a look at this sample Inflix database. So here we can see that there are two collections, a comments collection and a movies collection. If we open up the movies collection, we'll see all of the data in this collection. We can see that this collection includes 23 and a half thousand documents. So let's write our first query using the MongoDB query language. Let's do a basic filter. Let's find all of the movies that have the year greater than 2000. The MongoDB query language is very much like creating a JavaScript object. So we're going to define an object here and enter the field that we want to filter by. We want to filter by year, and we want to then find the years that are greater than 2000. So we're going to define another object here. And within that, we're going to use the $GT or $greater than operator. 
And then for that, we'll enter the value of 2000. So now let's hit find and see what our results are. So now it has found all of the documents that have a year greater than 2000. And we can see that the total return documents is just over 13,000 documents. Now you have your first database set up and I'm excited to see what you'll build. Send us a tweet to show off your progress. And if this video was helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more content like this.